All right, in this video, we're looking at the software serial interface. This is a lot different from my last video where we talked about the hardware serial interface because in that video, we were only allowed to use pin zero and one for the hardware serial interface. But it had a lot of advantages, a lot of special features that are not available when you're using the software interface. For example, you can't, you have to be listening to a pin because, all right, so the software serial library, let me start over. The software serial library allows you to use any of your digital pins as a serial uh, communication interface to another device. The hardware inter serial interface is only on digital pins zero and one, at least on these Arduinos here. So, but the big advantage of a hardware serial interface is that data is actually stored on the Arduino. And uh, so if you're not listening to that pin or checking checking your serial, uh, if it's available, if there's any data there, um, the data will be stored there. And when you're ready to grab it, you can. But with the software serial interface, you have to be listening to that pin when that data is being sent. Otherwise, you're going to miss it. So anyways, let me just go over what we have here. So we have two Arduinos. We have the LED Arduino and the LCD Arduino here. On the LCD Arduino, we obviously have an LCD and we have a photoresistor that we're measuring the uh, voltage there. We got a little voltage divider and we're sending that analog value over to the second uh, or the LED Arduino and then we're driving an LED on a PWM pin um, with respect to this value, okay? So that's kind of cool. And then over here, we're also sending a little message over to the LCD Arduino um, and displaying it on the LCD here. So it's sending this value over, but it's also resending the value back here and is also displaying that on the LCD. So it's kind of confusing, but I did that on purpose so that we can really demonstrate uh, a good communication link here. So let's jump over now to the code. All right, so uh, you know I'm not going to get into the code too much here because I just walked through this code in the hardware serial interface. So what I'm going to do instead is just cover the differences from this code versus the hardware serial interface code. So you might want to go back and watch that video because it's the same thing. I sort of wrote that code because um, I knew I was going to make this video. So here's the differences. First of all, we have to include a software serial library in both the LCD Arduino and the LED Arduino. Um, this is how you set up the software serial communication link. Software serial, we're going to call it my serial on both sides, RX on pin 8 and TX on pin 9. And I should note, T the RX pin should be tied to the TX pin over here, and the uh, TX ties to the RX. So you just go swap the pins. So RX to TX, TX to RX, blah, blah, blah. All right, and nothing else new here. Now, if you remember, I'm going to quickly burn through this code at a high level. All right, so we go down, and remember the LED Arduino kicks things off. So he sends over a dollar sign, I'm counting. The LECD Arduino here catches that dollar sign here. And then it starts reading the data in. So it catches the dollar sign, jumps into its for loop, puts it all into a message, gets the hashtag, and quits the for loop. All right, we've got the message link. Then it gets the low variable, then the high variable, which remember is the uh, is the raw value of the photoresistor um, analog value split into two bytes. All right. So we get that low, high, and remember we're sending everything as characters still. Now, here's the difference. In the last code, I, w I jumped right into a while loop then. So it sends its data out, then it goes into a while loop and expects the, um, the raw value to be sent over down here. This my serial dot print dollar sign before I was going into an infinite while loop here. But look what I'm doing now. There's all this start equals millis and blah blah blah. What this does here is first I set the start variable, which is defined as a long because it's a huge number. Long start. I store the uh, the milliseconds in this, and this is the milliseconds that the Arduino has been on for. 
Okay, so it just keeps going forever and over and over. So I just sort of time stamp it, right? It's start. I call it start. While Millis is min while Millis minus start is less than a hundred, do this. All right. What this means is that the milliseconds is continuously timing. Minus start, which was stamped right here, is less than a hundred. So I'm gonna keep this here true for a hundred milliseconds. That's all that means. So then what it's doing here is it's waiting for that dollar sign to come in. But if it doesn't get it within 100 milliseconds, it just jumps out. It jumps out and it doesn't get the data. So it just goes back. I think I have this right here. And then it just uses the old data it got the last time. So if it doesn't get it, it doesn't get it. And it'll use the data from the last time. All right. This is important in a in a software you are like this because you're not always going to be catching the data perfectly. If you miss it, you're going to you know, you you might you might catch the low before the dollar sign, you know, or or something like that. So, it's just a little it's a little bit of a a watchdog, I guess. But eventually these things start syncing up to each other and you don't miss as much as you think you would. This is more a little piece of code to just get things started. Okay? And then that's pretty much it. That's the only difference, I think, in the code. So it's actually not too bad. So anyways, uh, that's the software serial library. Hope that helps.